My life is complicated, only what you make it to be. Uh. Yeah, y'all, it's night to die. Shorty C94. Uh. Diversified soul. Hey. We up in here. You know what I'm talking about? Got my host back on the show. Little nigga think he's still fashionable. Fresh fuck. Alright. Alright, well, we here now. We here now. Can chuck the music off right quick so y'all can hear it. Like it's mandatory. No plus no glory. My nigga bitch got the game distorted. Now it's on in the song because I said so. Can't trust the bitch in the business so I got with death, bro. Uh. Tupac. 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 Tupac's cool. Nigga, you so gangster. Death <laughs> row. All right. All right. So we're here. Uh. It's been, it's been a long time since you've been on the show, nigga. I know, right? I've been doing some things, making some moves, getting my life together. All right, well, tell the people right quick, you know? Well, I just recently moved to the west side. So I'm a west sider. Thank you. Thank you very much. Boy, got his own place. Got the hole sliding through every other day, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm enjoying my sanctuary. Bitches, stay away. <laughs> Until I ask for you. So you telling me that if, you know what I'm saying, just... Fine ass, just thick booty. Then I'm just not gonna fine. say, leave me alone. Come on okay, in. Okay, well, I'm just making sure. You know what I'm saying? You haven't completely fallen off the deep end, for God's sake. No, no, no. Oh, I'm, just not, I'm just not chasing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking, but I'm living. I'm looking, but I'm not chasing. All right, all right. Fair enough. I mean, I've given up on dating completely. I mean, yeah, fuck it. It's I'm just, crazy. yep. <laughs> you know, uh, until somebody presents themselves that's worthy because there's some females out there and if it's any of my female friends that's listening even though you know y'all probably think this is just a sneaker podcast so y'all probably aren't listening but if you are mm-hmm. I'm not talking about anybody specifically but it'll be females you'd be cool with them they'll call or mm-hmm. whatever but they won't call enough you they know what I'm saying they be inconsistent and it's just not like I need you to chase me but shit at least show a nigga some interest otherwise I'm gonna just keep going it's like you're more consistent negatively than you are positive. You know, you got reasons to tell me why you can't, you know, or it's your kids or if it's your job or yes. parents, you know what I'm saying? If you had to do something for your parents, I've had to do it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, it's just a, you know. It's a fucking ongoing thing. Yeah. I swear I always thought, I think about this a lot. How it's like girls, girls with no kids, maybe out here curving niggas. Curving the fuck curving, out of curving niggas. Curving niggas. No kids, curving niggas. Nike swoosh. And then, somehow, some way, a fuck nigga slides in. Slides right in. Gets you pregnant. Pregnant. And one or two things that happen. Now, you know what? I'm going to rewind that. I'm not going to say he's a fuck nigga. Just a dude. A dude slides in. And one or two things that happen. Either your ass are running away or you find out he was a fuck nigga and he ran away because he was just a fuck nigga. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden now, you got priorities. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden now, you can only be with your child and be like, your child can be your man crush Monday or your woman crush Wednesday. Yeah. Only so long till you want a, per- a man mm-hmm. in your life. Yeah. But you fuck. The ain't shit nigga or you you push the good dude away because of your fucking pride and ego. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, like, there's more than one ways of ending a relationship. And it's got it ain't gotta be cheating or stealing. You can nag a nigga to death. Nag a nigga to death. Or a nigga can just ain't be shit. Yo, man. I, I don't I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. No no y'all are probably listening like fuck these niggas gonna we'll talk about the shoes. Fuck the shoes. For 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 at least a few minutes. We speaking from our soul to our soul. <laughs> yeah. Like I have no problem saying it. niggas be like, oh nigga, you soft. Hey, I still miss my ex. Yeah. I still miss her. We haven't been together for almost a year. She was my best friend and my mother. If you've been following me for any amount of time, she was prevalent on my page without me really posting pictures of her face. I think the last picture uh, Vianta I posted was her birthday. No, it was that straight out of Huff Heights. Oh. You remember? Because you were like, what happened to the straight out of Shaker? Remember, you had posted that. Thank you. Because I had a picture of her with the, when they were doing the straight out of Compton thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, hey, I still miss it. But, you know, 
be that way. And you niggas know y'all be missing y'all. Yeah. I know y'all be missing certain girls that y'all fucked up on or they left y'all. And I'm just mad enough to admit it. Yeah. <laughs> I still miss my ex. And if, if, if a female that I'm dealing with or talking to now stops dealing with me because I said that, that's fine. You ain't gonna you gonna stop fucking with a nigga because I'm being real. Yeah. You and know. y'all always talking about some y'all want a real nigga. Y'all don't want a real nigga. Y'all want a real nigga to listen to you and do everything you say and take all of your advice and just be a fucking shallow of a man. He does not exist unless he's unless you're in his life. Yeah. There's no such thing as that. Cut your balls while I can put them in a job. Exactly. <laughs> put them bitches right in your fucking pocketbook. <laughs> like, no. I got this nigga. But yeah, so I don't know. I mean, <coughs> she wanted me to sell half of my shoes <coughs> in order to be with her. <coughs> okay, see, she getting choked up over. See, choked up. <laughs> now again, never, ever. I'll say logically, you can be like, just think of almost a thousand pairs of shoes. I do. <laughs> however, however, she came into the situation with me having. I mean, I've gotten more shoes since we were together. We were together on and off for six years. But, like, why should I have to give up a hobby I have if my money is still liquid enough to improve the household, yep. go with your money, we never yep. relate on any bills, we never relate, nothing ever got cut off, mm-hmm. none of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I went out fucking around. I didn't smoke around her or her son. I completely stopped smoking for a year and a half. Gave up the herb. Gave up the herb for a year and a half. So I gave up the herb. I gave up chasing and fucking other bitches. <laughs> but in the end, that wasn't enough because I wasn't willing to let go of my shoes. Fucking kidding me. Now, kidding me. Even with that, and again, I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that wasn't the only factor. I mean, she wasn't happy with the job I had as store manager in Next Coventry. Um, she told me verbatim that she wasn't mature enough to accept me the way I accepted her. Now, I'm an unconditional nigga. Hey. Now, I, I guess I'm old school with that in the sense of. Hey. You. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. You know what I'm saying? Nope. When you're with somebody, you get on each other's nerves. It's going to happen. Of course. But any rough patch that y'all go through shouldn't be grounds for a breakup. Mm hmm. You know. And this isn't me running her name through the mud. I just told y'all I still love this woman. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, I just don't feel like it, it could it wouldn't have to be shoes. It could be, you know, in the late eighties and early nineties, me and my father used to do model railroad. That cost money. You know, I used to collect basketball cards and Beckett magazines. When Beckett, you know, basketball monthly. I still have them somewhere in my storage. Um I'm a collector. I like random shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm a thrifter. I like to thrift. So If that's all I really have because I don't drink, I don't go out, I don't smoke. Um, All I do is go to work, come home, watch sports, watch TV, and collect sneakers. We have our family thing. We go out, me, her, her son. Like, what's the problem? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's be so much worse? What's the problem? Like. She wants your she wants your nuts. <laughs> I, I just I I I don't know. And again, <laughs> I, I don't know. Exactly. Like exactly. Exactly. This is probably this probably is a little too personal for a lot of y'all. Like, hey, this nigga's telling his life story or whatever like that. So this what? is night or die, nigga. This niggas is my podcast. Able, this nigga should be able to relate, honestly. So you niggas should be able to relate. Straight up. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'll admit, I have a lot of shoes. When you move that shit, it's a lot. Like when I move, whenever that happens, this next time when I can finally 
get 95, 98% of my shoes, however many it is, out of storage. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm posting a lot of shoes I have that I can't wear because I don't have them with me. Uh, mainly LeBron's because it's the NBA Finals. Um, you know, once that happens, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. You know. And I pose this to a lot of you sneakerhead listeners out there. Can you? What's up? What's up? All right. So a lot of you, could you, could you go for six months? Well, now it's been more. It's been well over six months for me. Could you go six months or a year without having 80 or 90% of your collection when you're used to being able to wear? I don't even like wearing the same pair of shoes twice in a month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So to go from that to wearing two pairs of shoes in the same week. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. If you yeah. follow me on Instagram, how many times have you seen me post the Aquas or the Bordeaux? Um, mm-hmm. Now, I will say the Maroons... I haven't worn my Maroon 6s since I've been at where I'm at. I've only worn them once. Because every time I go to wear them, I always just wear the board ups. But, you know, wearing, like I've, wear, I've worn both of my LeBron 13s quite a bit. Mm-hmm. More than they would have got worn prior to, because I'd have had all my other LeBrons. You know? Yeah. So, could, could any of you sneakerheads do that? Could you? Go without having your collection at your disposal for six months or a year. Now, this isn't the first time I've had to do this, but because my situation, my home life dissolved, that happened. You know, where I'm at now, it's not enough space. I can't have all of that there. Um, can you do it? It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. Trust me. You know, and, and you know, I, I having a job where I'm blessed to where I can wear my regular clothes to work. Now, if I was wearing a uniform, probably wouldn't be that bad. But every day I wake up, I'm like, I don't have any clothes. I don't have nothing with me. So, you know. But I still wouldn't give up my collection. Right. Hell. To be with a woman. If I'm giving, if I'm getting rid of my collection, it's because I want to. Not because you said that I had to do this. Because if you get me to do this, what else will you get me to do? Next thing you know, you'll be having me go to get my nails done with a shiny nail polish. <laughs> or Chris, you should get a French manicure. Going, because... going to macrame or whatever the fuck. Going bridge parties. And, you know, just, just... Unmanly shit. Unmanly shit. I got this nigga to get him up, give up his shoe collection. And again, maybe it's petty. Maybe that's why I'm 35 and I'm not married. Maybe. <laughs> but... To you young collectors out there listening, if you had a girl that's always tripping on you buying shoes and you love shoes, then that bitch isn't really for you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because especially if you love shoes and she loves makeup. Oh, see, that's a personal (laughs) shit. Now, I've never gone through that, but I'm just throwing that out there because you know I haven't gone through that. My ex loved makeup. She never said you should get rid of some shoes, ever. But I'm saying, honestly, something that girls love. Girls love makeup. Now, I will give Zarina her props. She never Hell no. she never said that I should get rid of my shoes when I was with her. Then but not. at the same time, for the majority of our relationship, my shoes were in storage. Yeah. So all I had was four pairs of LeBron 6s, some Hyper Dunks, and like some Tims. So yeah. that was all I had. It was sort of like kind of a similar situation to, to now, but... Um, I didn't have as much shit because this was 2008 and nine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think the last three or four months of the relationship, I had my stuff. But um, <laughs> but yeah, um, if, if if a girl is constantly tripping on you about shoes, not now, now granted, that's if your shit is is right. You know, if your bills are paid, you know, yes. whatever. Don't be buying shoes and you don't have your shit, you know, paid up or whatever. That's not what I'm saying, but if you all are together, you know you're you're together, but you maybe not, maybe you're not living together or or what have you, and she's always tripping on you buying shoes. She's not for you because she doesn't want to see you happy. If shoes makes you happy, then so be it. Because ultimately, it just seems I don't know. To me, it just it kind of comes off like she wants to be the only one thing person. To make you happy. 
That's it. And that's a that's a losing game if you try to play that. Hell yeah. Like, you know. No. No. That, that's something that um well I'm really excited about this. We're actually talking about relationships and shoes yes. together. Yes, exactly. You know, instead of us just talking about oh what's hot, you know, this is a meaningful show. Now I'm giving y'all a lot of my personal, you know, information. But I feel like it, it gives authenticity to the broadcast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Shit is fucked up. <laughs> I'm not one of these people on Instagram like, yeah, I got this, I got this. Yeah, front. My yeah. shit is fucked up. It could be worse, but it's been so much better. Yeah. So. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And then, you know, we were talking about this earlier. You'll have people that aren't um, into shoes. Or even maybe some people that are. You'd be in a situation where you'd be like, oh, you should just sell your shoes. You should just sell your shoes. Easier said than fucking done. Now, people like that don't have a hobby. Yeah. To me. Yeah. They don't. They don't now, have a hobby. I'm talking about my ex. I love her with all my heart. But she didn't have a hobby. And she was really good with money. But it, it just wasn't a, you know, it didn't it didn't really mix well with, with <laughs> with me, <laughs> where it's not like I'm spending good vibes because the biggest misconception people have of me is that I spend a lot of money on shoes. I don't. Yeah. I thrift. You know, we have Avalon Exchange here, which, again, they, they have do used not, shoes. Do not help your situation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm not going to Foot Locker spending $150 or $200, whatever yeah. I mean. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to do that no manager at Next. But, you know, <laughs> even with that still money, they aren't giving me the shoes. Right. So, <laughs> you know, but um, I don't spend a lot of money on shoes. I'm, I'm actually in, in Diversified here will vouch for me. I'm cheap as fuck. Yes. Yes. You know, I'm cheap as fuck. <laughs> yes, he is. Oh, my God. Like, even when I buy you shoes, I really have to rule it over three or four times because the shoes that I want and they'll come out and it's some shoes where you know I've said on the podcast plenty of other times oh, those will be on sale you know mm-hmm. it's no no rush like right now I'm waiting for the BWs to get down to 80 the black and purple Air Maxes uh, BW yeah. Air Max on the back. so you know right now I want them I have a pair from 2003 but the paint is chipped up you know mm-hmm. they don't look good now yeah I probably could just get them repainted but I want a new pair I want a brand new pair. I've had that pair for 13 years. It's time for a new pair. So, you know, that was when I was working at Foot Action on the side. And this is where dirt cheap then. But, um, yeah, if a girl is, is y'all are dating and she's constantly tripping because you bought a new pair of shoes, she's not for you. She doesn't want to see you happy. And it's not even just shoes. It could be whatever you're into. You could collect stamps or hats or you could just Trains want to be fresh. Whatever. Yeah. She's tripping on you making yourself happy and it's not affecting y'all's situation in a negative light. She's not for you. Hell no. She just isn't. You know. Um, and don't sacrifice your happiness. Yeah. You know. <laughs> now, how the fuck is East Cleveland here? Yeah. How the fuck is East Cleveland here? Yeah, so he's leaving the niggas up. Said you and them people got the guns, you better run for it. Run for uh, it. Run. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, um, mm-hmm. so, yeah, I mean, I've always kind of wanted to do a Nike or Die with relationships and how it affects yours. Now, obviously, I've touched a little bit on my situation where, you know, my, my ex was a good woman. She just... And she had a decent amount of sneakers. I mean, again, if you've been following me, there would be times where we would post our sneakers together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But she just, um, she felt like I was too old to oh. be this this deep into it still. And that I should, you know. Yeah, that's like, shit like, I don't know. Shit like that to me always comes off like, that's like when hip hop first came out. Hip hop first came out, all the old heads like, oh, this is a- this is a, this is not gonna last. This is a disco. This is just gonna happen. This is not gonna last forever. Whatever. Like uh, things last forever. Yeah, they do. This is what I love to do. If I love it, then why the fuck can't I keep doing it? And, 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 you know, Especially just, if it ain't fucking you up in no kind of way. You know. Or us. And like I say, it, it didn't. I mean, the, the room yeah. factor. You know, my shoes took the yeah, the basement. And and I had the extra room and 
half of the uh, bedroom in our living our uh, bedroom. But um, you know, it's not like we're gonna be living there forever. So yeah. <laughs> you know, but I'm not bashing her. I still love her. Yeah. But um, yeah, any any anybody like your, your female should want to see you happy. I mean, I know too many other dudes that are married that Man. have collections like mine, or maybe they're not as much, but the passion is still there. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and they aren't getting static. You know, your your mate is supposed to bring you peace. She's not supposed to bring problems to you. Exactly. So. Exactly. You know, as as much as it hurts to be be single, now you're enjoying being single. You know, <laughs> after living with my woman for more than a year, you know, I miss that. I miss coming home to a woman. I miss dinner being ready when I get home. I miss, um, you know, just that constant companionship. Somebody to dealing with this job was a lot easier coming home to a fiance. Mm -hmm. You know. But y'all had more good times than y'all had bad. You're going to miss something about it, or somebody like that. You think you are because you got on the Webbers. Oh, um. <laughs> I wish I had some Webbers. Yeah, you go somewhere. They somewhere. Well, I have them, but they're from 2002. They aren't new like those. I need a new pair. Air bubble, air bubble buster or anything? No, but they're, I mean, the air bubble is yellow. They're 14 years old. I need mm -hmm. a new pair. Um, but yeah, so... You know, and then there are situations to where, like, I know that if I ever live with a woman again, you know, she'll just have to understand that that's something I'm into. That's just that's just how it is. You know, if I give up sneakers or if I quit the game or however you want to put it, it's going to be my choice. It's yeah. not going to be your choice. I made this nigga give up buying shoes or I made this right. stop. No, nah, that's not going to happen. The fuck? You know, because I feel like for myself, I'm too good of a man to not be able to be able to do that. Right. Ugh. That's the yeah. trash. But um, that is that trash, ladies. Don't ever do that shit to your man. Ever, ever. And again, I'll say it again. <laughs> I'm not running my ex's name in the dirt. I love her. Can you you vouch for me on that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know some of the conversations we've had. And, mm -hmm. um, I love her. He loves her. But you shouldn't have to give up his passion for her. You know, because his passion ain't fucking him, ain't fucking her up, nor them up, nor him up in no kind of way. No. You don't have a valid nor logical reason as to why I should stop buying shoes. You really don't. You really don't. I guess the other thing, and this is just me being petty. <laughs> there were shoes that I didn't buy last year because I didn't want to have an undesirable conversation with her. <laughs> now, let me think. Um, I didn't buy a new pair of Columbia 4s, even though you can get a pair from Avalon now for probably about 120 Even that's a little bit much. That's probably what they do with my discount if I bought, bought a new pair here. But, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe a little less. I don't know. Um, but I didn't buy the Shattered Backboard ones, which was a, was a huge regret. Um, I didn't buy the Chicago ones. You know, I, I didn't buy a pair, a newer pair of Bordeaux's. Um, I mean, I, I have a pair now, but I didn't buy them on release day. Now, granted, we only got 111 and a half, and with the line, I like to be fair. If it's only one in a size and it's my size, it's going to get sold in the line before I buy it. You know, I don't want people thinking that we're holding shoes here or doing wrong stuff. So sometimes I just have to eat it and not get it. But yep. the Bordeaux, if anybody knows me, if you follow me on Instagram, you see how much I post them. I love that shit. You know, and, and the pair from last year was way better than the pair from 2011. Mm -hmm. You know, before we, you know, like, she was, my ex was even encouraging me to get these because she knows how much I love that shoe. <laughs> She's like, Christopher, how are you not going to get them? It's the Bordeaux. I remember how happy you were in 2011. Like, I wore them. Now, you know, I don't like to wear the same shoe in a month. I wore them at least twice a week for like two years. From like 2011 to 2013, probably. 
I'm more than bored almost probably twice a month, twice a, twice a week. Yeah. You know, I I, mm. I can't say I've been that excited about a retro probably since. I mean, oh, the Aquas. The Aquas. I was that excited for them, but there are so many pairs of them. You know, we've I've had plenty of podcasts about how they didn't sell and whatever. Mm -hmm. I bought the bitches. <laughs> and I want another pair. And this is when we having three pairs from 2007. I still bought a 2015 pair, and I want another pair. Because I've worn the pair I have way too much with my shoes being in storage. But, um... I think I've ever had a pair of shoes that I could do that to. Or what? wanted to do that to. Buy multiple pairs. Really? You never had a shoe like, man? I'm telling you, back in the early two, in the early 2000s, you know, in college years, I used to have money where if I liked the shoe enough, I would buy two of them. Like I had two infrared sixes in 2000. I had two um, black and red fours in '99. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. certain shoes like that. I'm like, oh my God, I love these. Fuck it, I'm gonna get two pairs. They were only a hundred dollars. Fuck it. Kind of sound like cheat off the. Uh... What's the movie, the sneaker movie? Oh, oh um, Just the Kicks. Just the Kicks, the, the white kid, the first dude you see. Oh, Tommy Rebel. Oh, I, I gotta have one. Oh, yeah. Like, like, oh, like, oh, that was, that's <laughs> funny. Is, when he was talking about the year, he's like, he wanted every shoe. That used to be my um, my voicemail greeting on my phone for like six months. Mm. You know, because I was in it then. Like a lot of y'all, and again, I'm not scorning or hating. A lot of y'all are, are newer at this. You might have only been collecting for two years, a year, three, four years. A lot of collectors respond yeah. post. A lot of collectors respond with the, the Concord 11, 2011. Crazy. A lot of y'all was still playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards and shit before that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting new Pokemon? Yeah, you know. German Which is fine. Gold. I mean, German I'm a former GameStop manager. I'm a Nintendo nerd. I have every Nintendo system. I was thinking about getting that. I was over there, man. Like, uh, I want this. Uh, go on, get the go on, get the go on. Uh, nah, I really only got hats left. <laughs> <sighs> All right, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, I'm a Nintendo nerd. You know, I have every Nintendo. I mean, Isaac has the Wii U. That's is there. It, so if your Nintendo is in the storage, everything is in storage. The only thing I have with me is one of my TVs. Mm -hmm. um, I have both of my PlayStation 3s. I have a, a big one that's backwards compatible. Yeah. And um, I have a... The newer one. Yeah, I have a slim one. Yeah, that's the one I, that's the one I got. The fuck? Why is this shit not... It's not charging? No. Nah. Everybody hates Chris. <laughs> like, does this shit not work? Where you at? Nigga, like, did you break my charger? Doing what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Doing what? I asked you. I didn't put my phone in there. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I got my phone at around 17%. I have no juice. Thanks, so now my charger just doesn't work, really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, oh boy, this, this week just gets better and better, boy. Yeah, try it, try it. Maybe it's just my fault. Uh oh. Go get the money, go get the money. Did you watch Players Club recently or something? No, no, it's um, let's do QT Genesis. OT Genesis new song. Yeah, OG Don't QT is still the same. Yeah. Is just a charging? No, it's just your phone. Man. I mean, no, it's still charging. I don't understand it. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> I'll try one more thing. Now, you know what? That This this outlet in the back is a beast. Maybe it's just these outlets. Huh? So, so it's this. Huh? Yeah, this is my tablet charger. Oh, it just it wouldn't work with that? I don't know. Let me see it. Let me, let me see it again. What the fuck your phone, nigga? My phone is the one with the podcast. I need juice. I need juice. Ah. Niggas can't have nothing.
Mm-mm-mm. Well, so now, now I gotta get another box. There you go. <laughs> With a little bib on us. Anyway. <sighs> you keep saying that, baby. The, the young thug. I'm gonna sleep in the night. I'll take it, dick. What's the bus? She said, suck the head like a dyke. Put that little. You should get the shit that I like. Put that little baby on ice. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? You down south niggas, we call it drugs, babies. We don't know. We don't know. We put them babies on something. What the, we don't know. Man. All right. We, we have anyway, no let's get back on task here. So, all right. Also, if y'all notice, since I actually am paying for Spreaker now, it's a longer. Uh, you gotta pay for it? And it's about I, I used up all my free memory or whatever, so is now that, it's $5 a month. Is that the Hopefully I can afford it. Problems? Yeah, that's why I couldn't upload. <laughs> what the fuck you laughing about? Nigga, that shit ain't funny. <laughs> yes, it is. That Nigga, is at least funny. I had the inside to do this. It's funny. <laughs> that is funny. Anyway. Like, oh, oh you want to upload another one? Huh? Oh, charging. <laughs> Damn. Whatever. Yeah, it's real out here. Yeah. Anyway. Um... All right, so since the last podcast, um, with you and um, Next JK or Next, uh, Mr. Next KOS, yeah. Back. No, Zach, I don't think it's yeah. no. Nah, I had one with my homie B Dot after that. So he that was after the eleven. So the Pantone Low Top Nine came out. Um, I sold a few at Tower City. Here, I'm not sure if we've sold any, but it's not here. Could you go get one? I'm gonna be it. I don't think we got a lot, but it's kind of like nowadays, it's a Jordan every week. So it's kind of like you have to make a choice. There are Jordans they make for everyone. There are Jordans they make for old niggas like us. And there are Jordans they make for young niggas. Now, this Jordan 9 Pantone is probably more so for a young nigga. Yeah, it is. You know, like a nigga that's trying to look like Fabulous. He might have went online and got the tack my hat that's his color. You know, because mm-hmm. a, a typical Cleveland nigga outfit is uh-huh. only one or two things. Now, yeah, for me, uh-huh. you can, you know, since you're uh, allegedly, that shit. you're allegedly in fashion. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, a typical Cleveland nigga outfit is a Tacma hat, a Tech fleece top and bottom, and some Jordans, phone posits, or um, Harachis. Yeah. Typical Cleveland nigga outfit. Yeah. Um, now you can interchange that with Adidas track suit pants. Nike top and still Nike shoe because a lot of y'all be mixing brands. Yeah, I'm about to say you, you might want to rewind that whole oh, I, I Cleveland st- typical Cleveland nigga. They I would still, have Adidas joggers with these Jordans, the black with the black the black joggers with the three white stripes, these Jordans. Yeah, because they swear they kill and, and a white t-shirt. Even when we were open, that one nigga was asking for the NMDs. He had on a Nike top. Yeah, with Adidas yeah. pants and, and those ninety fives. Those bitches will run the fuck. Oh, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> All right, so this isn't a bad shoe. It's to be better for It actually guys. looks like it's made out of decent leather. It is. The tumble around the mid. This might have... The tumble the tumble in the mid. Yeah. That's, that's like low-key tumble leather. Yeah. The top... The... It's not bad. I mean, again, if you're really like... You know who, who, who has this shoe? Who I know has this shoe? Who? Jackie. From where? Lady underscore sneakerhead, what's up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She probably got them early. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's all about Carolina, so she probably has these. Yeah. But, um. It'd be better if it was low. Matter of fact, they released a high version. I mean, it'd be better if it was high. Yeah, fact But they released a have, high version. And they had like, every number. Like a couple years ago, they had a picture of every number in that yeah. way. Yep. So, and, and that's. What's the didn't they? Then when they sway. I don't know. Dude, I was, I was, this dude I was, uh, I follow on YouTube. He was talking about them when they was highs. Yeah. And they, I'm like, yeah, they probably was better when. But they see, I'm not, I'm not really big into to Jordan nines or even really tens. I own multiples of each. Don't get it twisted. This little nigga here. Think he hard. See again, Jordans with Adidas, like Adidas pants. Yep. Like you don't even try to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's just something that's not from our time. So we next have um, the collab. It's an Adidas Superstar and Pro Model. A Pro Model is basically a high top shell toe for y'all that don't know. Um, this is a collab with DJ Clark Kent, Russ Bankston, 
who's the editor of Slam Magazine and uh, Complex Magazine, which is Mark Echo. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have a show called Quick Strike. So we'll start with this superstar. Um, it's well, white. Off white. The shell, the shell, and the midsole are off white. It's perforated with stars, and the stripes are camo. The inside is camo and leather. And the only and the three stripes on the inner part of the shoe is gold. Yeah, the menial side is gold. No, no, man. So I don't even like those. we've talked about these. I actually like the pro model. I don't really care as much for the superstar because of the perforated stars on it. You know, it's. It's cool. I mean, I would wear them, but if I'm not sure if I liked them enough to purchase them. If a broad bought them for you. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, that's like my favorite line. If a girl bought these for me. But um, with the pro model, it's just more of my style. I do like the black stripes and then the gold stripes. Um, it makes it's just a more versatile shoe to me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't own an Adidas pro model. I've always wanted one. So maybe this will be the first one. Um, the retail on them, because they're so limited, nobody probably is going to have these. But next, the Pro Model is 160. Yes. The Superstar is 150. Um, yes. Damn, this isn't charging either. It's not charging either now? No. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. I'm about to say, man. It was charging mine. <laughs> I got a new phone in August. Um. So yeah, I mean these are they're they're cool. I mean, you know. So you yeah, I mean I can see you wearing the low and me wearing the high. I wear the high too, just not for one sixty. I wouldn't wear this for one fifty. Well, you know. but we get a discount. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the Adidas Adidas Pro Model is one fifty. Yeah, I mean. Hey, get them, get them based, get these on based on the fact that Adidas is killing shit right now. Get them on that. Get them based on the fact that they're uh, something no. everybody's not going to have. Yes, based on the fact that they're not a fucking Jordan. Based on the fact that I'm pretty sure that you'll break a nigga's neck who wears Jordans, they'll be looking at these. Like, oh, I'm like, yeah, I know. He's, I didn't pay you're so anti-Jordan. And by the way, I have Jordans. But I'm more into other shit. Shoes. They're just anti-Jordan. I'm not anti-Jordan. I love my Jordan ones. I adore my AJKOs. Love them. Spoken like a true hype beast. Yeah, yeah. I was into Jordan ones before people got hyped about them. Yeah, I can so, say that. So was I. When I was wearing when I was wearing Jordan ones, niggas thought they was dunks. Stupid. <laughs> niggas thought dunks were skinny forces. Right. Where you be getting them skinny? <laughs> <laughs> what? Where you be getting them skinny forces from? Seriously? Man? Seriously. In the early two thousands, before <laughs> this is pre SB. <laughs> When you could still find dunks at Foot Locker and when Foot Action had their own colors of dunks, niggas used to call them skinny forces. When I used to be at Record Exchange, niggas used to call them skinny forces. I'm like, they're... Skinny forces? It's, oh. it's, it's called a Nike dunk, so... I, I wish... By the, by the way, I wish y'all could see his face when he said that it's, it, it's, it's, called a, it's called a Nike dunk. It's not an Air Force One. <laughs> it's a look of just like, I can't believe this motherfucker said this dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now, everybody oh who's God. listening has probably had a stupid ass conversation with somebody about who think they know about sneakers, but they don't know a goddamn thing. I know I have, just today. These bitches fall. I mean, with the tongue popped out. Oh! Soon, my sweet. Hopefully it's not too late. God, are you going to ejaculate on them too? Yes, I am. Oh. Come, come right in the sub. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you went there, not me. Gosh, you sound went. like you were making love to her. I am. Ugh. That's how it is when you a uh, when you a sneakerhead. Hell, you the same way about Bordeaux. Like you talking. Oh, oh my God, new Bordeaux. Fuck out of here. <laughs> anyway, oh, oh. on to the next shoe. <laughs> All right. So lastly, but not least, um, we have a LeBron 13. Um, it's a low. It's cool gray with a uh, ice blue bottom. Well. The front is ice blue. It's got the hex zoom like a regular LeBron 13, um, but it has an air bubble. The air bubble is um, the air bubble itself is gold, which is a nice little touch. The swoosh is black, but it's got a gold outline on it. You know, it's it's a nice shoe. The back kind of reminds you of a Kobe 7. Yeah, yeah. 
Those are, I like those. These are actually nice. I mean, um, they really are. I do like them. I like them over the LeBron 13 High. No, I, I, I'm saying that. No, I like those over the LeBron the, the 13 High. Now, and again, you all that follow me know I, the LeBron 13 gets a lot of play, especially the BA shoes. <sighs> Bored them bitches yesterday. I just wish the tongue pops. That's the only thing I don't like about it. To me, all LeBron lows look the same. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's all the same. No. These, these, the LeBron 12s and the LeBron 11s all could be the same shoe. Pull them up. I love the burgundy pair of these. Yeah, they're at Tower City. Look at this. LeBron, we'll go LeBron 11. Yeah, it's a fat, low top shoe. <laughs> Look at that. It's the same. It's the same. The bubble just isn't as long. All right, so that's the 11. Yeah, those are. All right. It's the same. Now, the Look at 12 this. low, the 12 low is damn near the same. It's the, the same shoe. Low. It's the, the 12 same. low is the same as the 13 low. You know, it, it, it is the same shoe. It's the same. Now, so. it is the exact same shoe. Oh. I got that. Uh, that was the only one people wanted. JR wore those last year in the finals. Damn. All right, so for the last three minutes or so, all right, I like the LeBron. I like it. Um, I would buy these. They were, well, I don't know if I'd pay 175 I'm cheap. Nah, nah, nah. I don't even know if I'd pay 100 These would have to be on sale, heavily discounted, but most LeBron, thir- uh, most LeBron lows end up going on sale anyway. Yes, they do. So, people tired of paying all that fucking money. You know. And, yeah, I would, uh, I would, I would. One hundred. Seventy. I'd pay one hundred. See? Yeah. I'd pay seventy. Sixty nine ninety nine. Cheap. AF. And the box better be there too. It better not be cut off the top like the outlets. <laughs> I hate that shit. Did you know it was a did you know it was a Nike outlet store uh uh near uh South Park Mall? No. Javante told me that yesterday and we came from out there. I was like the fuck does he know? Really? He said Tay too real? Yes. Tay too real. Told me this. Feel aware of it. We were cause we was I hate. What's up, Javante? <laughs> <laughs> We, was, we left. We left. We left. We left. We left. South Park, we left South Park Mall, and we were on the bus. And I'm like, "Oh, big ass Old Navy." He was like, "Yeah, man, that's a nice little strip here, strip mall area." I'm like, "Oh, okay." He's like, "Yeah, they got a Nike outlet." I'm like, "Nigga, what?" I'm like, "Oh, well, everybody always telling me about Aurora Farms. Mm-hmm. People always telling me about Aurora Farms, which I've never been to. But I'm like, you mean to tell me it was one that I could have just went to all this time? I'm like, yeah, man." I'm like, no, yeah, don't talk to me like that. I ain't know. Yeah, we gotta go out there. Hell yeah. I'm like, oh. Yeah. I gotta check that out, man. He's like, they had decent stuff. I asked him when was the last time he went. He said like three, four months ago. Why was he going out on us like that? I mean, we did the one podcast at fucking uh, Applebee's, the three of us together. He could have brought it up there. He probably just assumed we knew. Sure. <laughs> Funny to me. Probably assumed we knew, because I'm like... I did not know about that at all. I would have loved to know that. Yeah, Damn. Too. You know, I don't even fuck with the West Side, but I'll go over there for that. I'm West still probably closer than going to Aurora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, from uh, it's an hour, well, hour thirty minutes on the bus on a fifty one. Fuck. Where is it there? Hmm? You said it's near what again? North uh, South Park Mall. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just probably only like thirty minutes in my car. Yeah, yeah. Well, but you have. Uh, Anyway, in my car, anyway, you don't drive far. Whatever, you don't, you don't drive far in my car. Anyway, um, with the time pop, it's like it's well, for one, we only got seconds left now. It's like the charging is the, the percentage is going down, even though it's plugged up to the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Too much uh, power. Anyway, it's Nike or Die. I'm Shorty C94. This I'm is Versify. So follow us if you already don't on Instagram. Um, now I seem to have a pending situation with my phone here. Mm-hmm. I'm about to use one of my, jack my father for his charger or something. I don't even know. Anyway, we appreciate you all for listening. Um, the Cavs are playing uh, Golden State tonight. It's, what, game five? Yeah. Hopefully they pull out a win. Draymond Green is suspended. Uh, I don't hate him like everybody else. But, you know, if the Cavs win, they'll be like, well, it was only because Draymond wasn't playing. Oh, well. So... Anyway, until next time, we thank you all for listening. Boy, the time is really ticking. Eight, seven, six, five, four. It's Nike Dot. See you.